Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a fire effect to a part when you touch it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to add a part into the game. Next, go ahead and click on the part and locate it in the Explorer menu. Then click on the plus sign and add a script. What we're going to do first is add a variable to reference this part. So we're going to say local part is equal to script dot parent. There's going to be two things that are going to happen in the script. One of them is going to be a touch event that triggers a function whenever this part is touched. And then inside the function, we're going to create a fire effect by using instance dot new. So the first part, let's set up a function. So we're going to say local function. And for our function, let's go ahead and call it fire. And then inside the function, we're going to be using instance.new. First, we're going to say local fire effect. And this is just a variable name. It's going to be equal to instance.new. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put the word fire. After that, we're going to define its parent, which is basically just telling it where to put the fire. So the parent is going to be the part itself. So we're going to say fire effect dot parent is going to be equal to part. So this will place the fire effect on the part. That's actually all we have to do for the function. And then down here at the end, we're going to link this function to a touch event. To do that, we're going to say part dot touched colon connect. The name of our function is fire, so that's what we'll place inside of here. Okay, let's go ahead and run our program to check it out. Now, if we step on our part, then a fire appears. So, some different things you can do with this. Rather than light the part on fire, if you want to light the player on fire instead, that's pretty easy to do. Back here on the script, what we're going to do first is inside the parentheses, we're going to pass a parameter. And this parameter is going to be called other part. And this parameter will be whatever other part touches this part. So if the player touches this part, then other part will be one of the body parts of the player. So the way we're going to use that, we're going to set the fire effect dot parent equal to other part. So now if we take a look at this, if we touch the part, now the player lights on fire. If you want to get rid of the fire after a certain number of seconds, you can do that. Back under the script, what you have to add is a wait time. And let's go and say five seconds. And then after that, we're going to destroy the fire part. The way we're going to do that is we're going to say other part dot fire colon destroy. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. So now after I touch the part, five seconds later, the fire should disappear. And there it goes. Okay, so what we did in this video is we used a touch event and instance.new to add a fire effect on a part when we touch it. This is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned for the next one.